I'm Inspector Lestrade from Scotland Yard. We've been waiting for you. We've already started sorting them, Inspector Lestrade. Yes, I see. This is terribly inconvenient for us. Until we find this counterfeiter, I consider every coin here to be suspect. These coins have already been cleared, Inspector. Hmm? I could tell that. <clears throat> what? I've got one. What? Oh! Have a look for yourself. It's a remarkable duplicate, but when compared to a real coin, you can immediately detect the lack of your rhythm. Yes, I can see what you mean. It's obvious. I can perform a precise test. Mm -hmm. Here is a rail coin, and here is the counterfeit. You see, a cheaper metal makes this one much heavier. Hmm. Here, I found another one, sir. Huh? There it is, that you rid me. Here's another. Impossible! I'm sure they won't find any more. I've got two more. Another, sir. Another one here, sir. I've got some here, sir. They're all over the place. They're all over the place. If we don't stop the villain soon, all of England's coins will be fake. Counterfeit of London, England. Read all about it. Counterfeit of... Over here, boy. Here, Governor. Treasury hovers on the brink of ruin. Who do you think's behind it, Hound? Elementary, my dear Watson. There's only one mind in England devious enough. <laughs> A baffled Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard called the plot deviously devious. <laughs> Just wait till I've issued more. <laughs> I see a call. Oh. George, I'm out to our win. I know. Go fish, Smiley. And now I think it's your turn to empty out the machine. Yeah, let the professor do it for once. I never seen him lift a finger around here. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get to work before I put you through the pressing machine! <laughs> Another half a million by tonight. Do you hear me? Here's Twenty. Here's twenty more. My darling machine works harder than those two can. <laughs> This necklace to me mother. And she could hang this in the parlor. The 
leave that alone! Go get the mechanic! Can you handle that? I won't. I simply refuse to be part of your scheme. Not even for these. They're probably the last real guineas you'll see. I don't need money. I want to go home. I never said you couldn't go home. I just wanted you to repair my machine before that. <coughs> if you don't, seeing your family may become a slighter possibility. <laughs> I hope that won't affect your decision. Very well. How kind of you! First, you must allow me to write a letter to my daughter. She'll be worried about me. Your daughter? How touchy. I know I can trust you to keep it charmingly vague. Smiley, get him a pen. I know what you're gonna do, Professor. You'll steal the letter and then tear it up, right? Wrong. I'll check it carefully and mail it. A letter would be just the thing to keep anyone from getting suspicious. <laughs> Hound has been gone since yesterday afternoon, working on this deuced counterfeit plot. I hope he's been able to find out more than Lestrade. No, not much at all. Hound, good to see you back. How was it? Waste of time. <sighs> Couldn't find a thing. Well, that's too bad. It's got to be Moriarty. And he's certainly busy. He's pressing the coins out of London. I haven't a clue as to where. I'm sure you'll come upon it soon. Hmm. I wish he'd take better care of himself. <clears throat> as a doctor, I mustn't let him catch cold. <clears throat> there. You want to see Mr. Sherlock out? Yes. This way, then. I say, Hound's clients seem to be shrinking. Are you sure she's here to see Hound? That's what she says. Well, little girl, I'm afraid Mr. Hound is asleep at the moment. Perhaps I can help you. What are your qualifications? Um, well, I work with Mr. Hound. Uh-huh. She got the idea from this paper. Hmm, last week's. Detective Sherlock Hound was called in to investigate. Did you read this yourself? Mm -mm. My friend John read it for me. Well, then, what is your problem, miss? Mrs. Fool's mysteriously vanished. Is that your nanny? It's my cat. Cat? Mm -hmm. She's banned over a hundred pounds. Well, then you must miss her a lot. Uh -uh. She sniffs and scratches, and she has a patch on her ear. Interesting. Hmm, did you ask your parents to look for her? Mother died a long time ago, and now father isn't home either. I'm very sorry, little girl. Watson! Hound! Why are you gabbing with our clients out on the landing? Oh, oh. Please make yourself at home. But Hound, really, a missing cat. How can I refuse a child who's walked five miles to see me? Five miles? Well, how do you deduce that? It's obvious the mud on her shoes can only be found in Brompton Mews. Oh, of course. I thought she came from there. Hmm, hello. What's this? Just a copy of last week's paper. But look, Watson, this advertisement has been circled in red. Well, perhaps the child was looking for work. Experienced Dropforge mechanic needed immediately. Dropforge? Didn't you say her father was away from home? Hmm? Yes. Dropforge is the kind of equipment used for counterfeiting. I say! You say your father's been away on a job for several days and that yesterday you received this letter from him? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, Martha. Father has to work out of town for a few days. Please don't worry. If anything should happen, go and see Mrs. Fu. 
Hmm. What good would it do to see a cat? Tell me, Martha, what kind of talks do you and Mrs. Fu have? Hmm? I tell her about father. Hmm. Perhaps she wanted her to talk to the cat as therapy. I think we should look for this cat. <gasps> You'll take the case? But first, you must finish your tea. Mrs. Hudson will be dreadfully upset. All right. Must be John. A pleasure to meet you, my boy. Sir? Coo. I want you to see this. This is where she was last seen. She used to sleep over there. Hmm. Possible to see from here. Watson! Can you make out the far end of the roof from there? I can't see a thing through all this shrubbery. If you can't see from here, how do you know Mrs. Fu is there? Oh, I just use the hidden peephole. Peephole? See there? You can't see it that way. You need some paper. Yes, like a pinhole camera. Bears closer examination. Just as I suspected. Oh. Hey. S O S. He's signaling for help. E Y F O R D. Eifert. The name of a town. Hello, yeah, kitty. There's a nice kitty. Easy. That's it. Great Scott. <laughs> Watson, time to go. Yes, Hound. I'll be right with you. Thank you. Martha, would you mind if we looked at your father before Mrs. Fu? Maybe they're together. Mm, you stay here. Watson, let's get back to London. Now where? Uh, stop Scotland Yard. Oi! Inspector Lestrade. Hmm? Town, what is it? Well, can't you give me an idea? After we get to Victoria Station. Jump! <laughs> <laughs> taken four days to do small, insignificant repairs. I'll be done tonight. You had better be. Ow! Oh. Get rid of him after he's finished. Who, oh, me? Yes, you. Examine this, Inspector. These letters I've circled. Hmm. S O S Iford. One H Paul C. Obviously, one H means one hour from Iford. And Paul C has got to mean counterfeit coins. We'll find the counterfeit is one hour from Iford. I think we'll also find Martha's father and Professor Moriarty. Good. I'm glad I decided to bring you along. Send this! I hate people who pull things out of trains. I. Oh, by George!
Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I fixed your machine. Can I go home? I'm hurt you don't enjoy my company. You lie to me. I'm a criminal, don't you know? Take him away! This is barbaric. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Wait, I forgot something. I'll move. I, I forgot a valve screw. Huh? You're not gonna fall for that. See if I care. Let the blasted thing explode. Explode? Give me that screw. Hey, wait a minute! Come back! Blast! Hey, George, I found the screw! Now take it to the professor, you dumbbell! Mm. Uh, All right, let me in. This isn't funny. Uh, You're gonna be in a lot of trouble. You clogged! That machine is working perfectly! I don't need that ridiculous screw! Get moving! That fool will be sorry he answered my ad. Can't you even break down a door? Ah, me bunions! Get a battery gram! Oh. Oh, getting down may be difficult. This way, Mr. Hound. Here is Eiford. One hour means ten miles by coach. The place we're looking for could be anywhere inside this circle. Are there any large buildings in the area? Just farms and homes in the countryside. I have a feeling this search could take several days. You'll divide into four teams. Any building that looks suspicious will be investigated. Just a moment, Inspector. Oh? Have you had any complaints about loud noises in the area? I don't think so. Sir, I've heard about a house on the edge of town that's making such a ruckus after neighbors have gone deep. Precisely the house we're looking for. I can't wait to see the look on Moriarty's face. I hope we're in time. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh! Now, be a sport and fall. <gasps> Give me the gun. Right. Oh. Oh. I'd prefer a gun with bullets in it. Uh, mm, oh, you uh, get away, uh, ignoramus. Uh, this is the last time I give you any responsibility. Still hanging around? <laughs>
I think perhaps we'd better hurry. Single file, don't push. Come on, Nestrod. I'm in your everlasting debt, Mr. Howe. We must thank you for that very ingenious letter you sent to Martha. We would have been lost without it. I'm sure we've seen the last of Moriarty this time. Well, he could pop up at any time, you know. Hound! I'll take my revenge next time. <laughs> Look, he tied bunnies. <laughs> Just keep moving. Martha! Oh, you're home! Yes, Martha. Oh, I missed you. I'll never leave you again. Ta-ta! Cheerio. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let me see, Hound. What should I call this adventure? Call it finished. <laughs>